Hello and welcome to this tutorial in shaders. So I spent some time on investigating shaders uh, in general, how to install and test and everything. So in this video I will go through how I did it and that basically means how to turn Minecraft from this into this. So if you think this looks nice then uh, then you can continue to watch and I will go through how to make this happen for 164 and 1710. Okay, so let's start with multi MC. This is not a required step actually to make the the shaders work, but this is how I did it and it's quite easy to use multi MC, so you do as you want, but I will do it multimc.org download install the one that is uh, for you and when you have installed and you have made the account settings and everything then you should be up and running so let's create an instance for yeah let's start with 164 so 164 okay and we uh, we run it directly okay everything is working and uh, everything is fine so now we go into yeah mark your your uh, your instance and edit it now this is 164 and we want to install forge here take the latest 965 okay and this will install forge for you this is very easy uh, okay and then before we move on uh, i go into edit again and let's take a look at the loader mods and now it's time to insert some mods view folder here we have it so let's put it on that side and i will take my here I've downloaded stuff already. So for 164 we and for 1710 as well, we will use Optifine and Shaders Mod Core. Now let's take a look here. Uh, now multi MC, we are finished with that. So let's jump to Optifine. All these links will be in the with the description, so you don't need to remember all this, just check the description. Optifine and downloads. So I'm doing the 164 at the moment. So let's and I will go with the ultra. So this is the one I have downloaded. So if you go here and it will be add fly uh, download and with ads and everything. So I have already done this here. Optifine 164 HD Ultra D1. So I have that. And then we go to the shaders mod. So this is what you'll need to to be able to install shader packs, or at least some of them. Perhaps there are other ways. I, this is one I was looking at. Um, so this link is also in the description. And I have downloaded it for one six four. So download, and if we take a look here. This is a shaders mod core for 164 with Forge 965. So, okay. So this is the one. So those are the two mods that we need. Optifine and shaders mod. And of course, Forge is already installed. You remember we did that already. So now, um, let's take a look in the 164. We take these two. Let's go to mods. This is the folder, multi MC instance, 164, Minecraft mods. Take it there. And now it's time to, yeah, you can see them here already. Perfect. Now we run it. Hmm, shouldn't this go down? Yeah, like that. Okay, now we have them loaded. You can see. MCP, FML, Forge, Optifine, 
And now when we go to, let me bump this up. Uh, I'll do it in a second. So this is a new, new add-on from the shaders mod core, shaders option. Now we have no shaders uh, loaded. So let me take these two. These are the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable shaders. These look kind of good. Uh, they only work for pre 175, so this is what I will be use will be using for 164. And now let's go to the we have the other folder here. So now in our multi MC instance 164 Minecraft, we also have this folder called shader packs. So let me grab these two and put them into there. Now, here we are, we have them here directly. So pick the one you want. And remember to let's go into video settings, details and clouds off. And it looks strange. So let's create a new world. I started in the cave. looks kind of great i would say really really great let me see if i can find a better view there there's a better that's a better view the, <laughs> the water looks amazing i have to say so flowers and shadows, everything, uh, everything looks great. And it was very easy to make it work as well. Okay, so let's quit this and let's see how quickly we can do this for 1.7.10 as well. It's basically the same thing, so I'll do it quite quickly and keep up if you can. So 1.7.10 profile. Create, launch, okay, everything is working, my mods downloaded, same thing again, if I take a look, Optifine 1710, this is the one that I used, and Shaders Mod Core for 1710, so it's this one. 1710 here and we can't use sonic ethers so i'll use silders shaders and this is more of a generic it doesn't seem to have specific specific minecraft versions uh, at least not what i've been reading about anyway so we will edit the instance and we will install Forge, go with latest, latest Forge, Loader Mods, go to that folder, and these are the ones we want. And we are finished. That's how quick and easy it goes if you have pre downloaded the files. This basically that part takes. Uh, it will take most time, I think. So here, and we take the vibrant shaders, and we go into Minecraft, and let's go to the shader pack and insert it here. And options shaders, and here it is. Go into video settings, details, clouds off, and just create a new world. And now it's loaded. So this is 1710 with with the Silders Silders Vibrant Shaders. So these look kind of cool. You have also have these 
like near focus or far focus. I don't know what they call it. So yeah. That's how you do it. At least for for one six four and and one seven ten. So one point eight uh, we can see this is the Shaders mod core for Minecraft 1.8. We have only an alpha, and this is not compatible with Optifine or Forge or FML for that matter. So I decided to skip it for this video. If needed, I can make a new one later on, but uh, yeah. I guess this is how to do for this video. So um, hope it can help if you needed help. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.